I do not want to talk about this. Yeah, I seen the DVD um, maybe like a week ago, and just recently I saw the trailer today, but I have to mention this piece of shit that uh, I witnessed with my own eyes. I didn't watch the movie, but whatever. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today on why this movie was made, it's going to be See No Evil 2. Let's fucking get into it. The story and what the movie is about. So, eight years or seven years after the first film, uh, nothing really goes on until... Jacob comes back to life, and basically that's it. Yeah, the story in itself sounds real sucky, and it sounds like shit. And thus the fact that this is a sequel eight years after the first movie, which came out in 2005 or six. Ugh. Really, man? Really? So, yeah. So, so far you have a sucky story. Let's get into the characters. Um, from what I've seen, they're bland and boring, and you can't really get into them. Uh, the Jacob character, I don't really fucking give a shit about, and I didn't give a shit about him in the first fucking movie. Jason Voorhees has more intelligence and more everything than this stupid, uh, whatever. He's not even up there with uh, the horror icons. He's not even a fucking horror icon. It's just some lame guy that just comes back to life and dip, 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 whatever. And he wants to do a killing spree because he's a mama's boy. Yeah. At least it was done better in Friday the 13th Part 2. And it was done better in other fucking movies. But this this is just a pile, honestly. Um, let's get into the acting. From what I've seen, the acting sucks ass, honestly. From, from that trailer, that trailer wasn't help, helping enough. <coughs> yeah, I guess I'm allergic to that trailer I just saw. A uh, few minutes ago. Ugh. God. But, uh, anyways, uh, the acting is atrocious and it's fucking horrible from what I seen. Nobody can fucking act their way out of a fucking paper bag, people. Yeah, it's really that bad. It's really that god awful. <sighs> okay, let's go to the writing. Uh, what writing? The movie really goes nowhere. And it's just a, a lame attempt of this piece of shit being made for no reason. Whoever the writer is, uh, they are a fucking dumbass, honestly, for... Writing this piece of shit. Being involved in this piece of shit. And it's just like... Really? You're just making this for a fucking quick buck. Okay? Yeah, so the writing is pretty terrible. Uh, the dialogue by characters... Sucks ass, from what I've seen from the trailer. 
Uh, the cinematography and the visuals look like straight to shitty uh, quality for a film. Um, from what I've seen, it doesn't even look that good. The older movie had better quality uh, look to it with the cinematography and the visuals. I'll admit that, even though I hate the first movie, but the first movie looked better than this piece of dog shit, honestly. And the shots are just stupid, and it's like, you, you have to have this new bullshit of, oh, let's just do this, let's just do that. Even though it's cliche as fuck, honestly. Um, I don't believe there was any practical effects. Special effects probably look like dog shit. Everything else looks like dog shit. Um, probably the scores is real shitty and the soundtrack is real shitty. And the movie itself probably sucks ass if it's a letdown of a DVD Blu-ray buy. Uh, even fucking Redbox or Netflix, if you get it off of Netflix or you get it from Redbox, you're gonna still feel ripped off. Yeah. Because <coughs> if your DVD and Blu-ray cover looks bad, and your trailer is pretty god-awful, then you just have a movie that that uh, the writer and director made just to grab a quick buck. And it's pathetic, really. It's fucking pathetic. It's stupid. Why would you make a sequel eight years later after the first movie? you think they would have made one two years after the first movie. But no, I guess they were, they were obsessed with uh, making some decent horror movies at the time. Yeah. And this one is not even decent. It's a pile of shit. It's a pile of shit that you can't get out of the fucking toilet bowl. Or it's a big pile of steaming heap of elephant shit. Yeah, I went there, people. It's really that bad. It's really that god awful. And it's like, why the fuck did they even bother with this? You think by now they just would have stopped with the straight to DVD uh, sequels, but no. No, let's just uh, release them and see how the fuck they do. Yeah, and it's still staying on the fucking shelves and nobody's buying your crappy movie. Hmm. I would rather uh, have an exterminator come in here, spray some bug spray, uh, different kinds of bug sprays, uh, for me to fucking get sick, man, from those different bug sprays, so that I won't have to sit through this shitty movie. And it's just a fucking pain. I, you see, I don't even want to fucking talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. It's giving me a migraine. Um, I think I might reconsider and go back and watch why was this movie made. Food fight, yeah. At least that's tolerable more than this fucking piece of shit film that they didn't even put no effort into and 
It's just lackluster. Shitty. Probably, um, after you watch the film, you'll probably want to go and... Probably in your life because how terrible this sequel is. Yeah. Anyways, with that, I'm out. Peace.